Welcome to the Getting Started Guide for Air Manager 5. I will help you to get going with the most basic features of Air Manager. Let's dive into it. Here on the left, you can find all your panels and devices. Selecting a panel will show you the canvas on the right. The canvas is the place where you can design and modify your panels, but we will get to that in a bit. If the simulator is running and you have installed the plugin, there is a message in the bottom right corner showing the status of the connection. In this case, you can see that we are connected to X-Plane. Now let us start by adding a new panel. You can either click the plus symbol here or on the top right. In this window, we can choose from many different panels. For this example, we will add the steam gauge version of the Cessna 172 panel. Select the Cessna 172 from the list. Then select the panel and either double click or press the add button in the bottom. From here, you see that we can choose between three different layouts. Select the designated monitor, then select the panel you want to add. In our case, the classic steam gauge version. Again, double click or press the add button. On the top, there is the option to change the name of the panel. And if we scroll down below the canvas, you will see all sorts of options. You can add hardware to your panel, like switches and buttons, which is handled in a separate video. If you scroll further, you will find more settings. This is also the place where you, if you have one, can enable the knobster for this specific panel. Now to show the panel, click the little switch here or above the canvas. The panel loads and is ready for use. Once opened, a right click on the panel allows certain inputs, including the option to close the panel. In the canvas, it is possible to reposition instruments by dragging them with your mouse, like so. Pressing the control key on your keyboard while dragging disables the snapping feature. By pressing and holding the control key on your keyboard, you can select multiple instruments at once and reposition them simultaneously. Again, pressing and holding the control key while dragging disables the snapping. To change the size of an instrument, click and hold one of the corners and start dragging. You can also fine-tune the sizes, which I will show in the next step. Right-clicking an instrument will bring up a menu. When you select Configure, a window will pop up. In this window, you can change various settings of this specific instrument, like its size and position in pixels. If an instrument has the option to connect hardware to it, you will find it here as well. The same can be done by selecting the instrument from the list of instruments in the panel. In addition to moving and resizing, you have the ability to remove and add other instruments. For this example, we will remove the gyro and add a HSI instead. Now, we can either right-click in the empty space or select Add Instrument above the canvas. We type HSI and select the HSI we want. Either double click or press add to add it to your panel. We fine tune it a bit, making sure it fits nicely into our panel. And once we are done, we can start the panel and making our inputs to the various dials and buttons. In other videos, we will dive deeper into the possibilities of Air Manager. Before we conclude this video, I want to point out our support page at siminnovations.com support. Here you can find links to various helpful resources. I want to thank you for your attention. And from all of us at Sim Innovations, happy landings!